Dimitri, congratulations. Your love affair with the Betfred World Match Play continues. Um, just how are you feeling after that? Tired. I had to work hard. I've got to put in a lot of mental job. But yeah, the finishing, that double 18, it's working so well. Deep breath now. Um, yeah. What should I say? I'm just so chuffed. I'm, I'm happy. Hard work pays off. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. It's either at your own private job or at the darts or whatever it is. If you put all your effort in, some point, some moment is going to pay you back. And I think that's what's happening here. Once again, I know it's at the match play. It kind of seems to be a tournament made for me. And I just want to hope that, yeah. Let's keep it going, let's crack on, you know, on to the quarterfinals. Did you feel the turning point was just before the second break? 6-4 or 5 all is a big difference. Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, I had that one daughter, double 14, and I managed to peg it. Uh, he was on 104. Yeah. I managed to win the first two um, five legs with a 3-2 advantage, you know? You go in 3-2 up with a break of throw before the next five started. And then I managed to win another 3-2 and I go 6-4 ahead. So I was like, all right, you're doing your job, you're doing the business, you're doing just a little bit better than your opponent. It doesn't matter who it is. But Roby for me, he's like family, he's like such a good mate. Me and him, we go a long way back, even before we both joined the PDC. And I saw him play in the final of the, um, the U Tour, PDC Challenge Tour, PDC Development Tour, whatever you call it. Oh, but guys, I'm, I'm working my ass off, I'm, I'm fighting every game I play and my finishing right now is pulling me through. So I've got to do it again with even a little bit more strength in my scoring. And whoever can stop me, I don't know, let's just say that the sky's the limit. But I'm believing in myself, I am. At times up there, were you fighting your own emotions? Because yeah. you were trying to slow yourself down, you're breathing down like we've seen you do before. Yeah. And then you give it a massive celebration on a big moment. Were, yeah. you, was it a conflict inside for you? I think you're spot on there. Whatever moment it was, whatever time it was, I was having a lot of emotions inside, outside. Sometimes I have learned now that sometimes you shouldn't always keep them in. Sometimes you've got to let them go. But when? After five legs, you got a break. If you can manage to go three, two up in the break and you lost the darts, that means you're doing an amazing job. So I said like, let it go because I've got so much time until I've got to play again. And I did the same thing when 6-4 was going on. Once again, I just let it all go. I just yelled it out. Like, let all the emotions go. Don't hold it back. Yeah. And the same thing is after I managed to, uh, to win the game, that winning double went in and I was like, let it all out. Let it all out. Don't hold yourself back. Let it all out because you've done the hard work. You've done the business. You're into the quarterfinals against one of my best friends. So it definitely was such a difficult game. Touching on that quarterfinal, like you said, your name is in the hat. Your opponent, we don't know yet. However, would you like another crack at Peter Wright on that stage? I would like to have another crack in that final. I would like to have that. Not a um, manage to win this trophy, but this time with the crowd behind me. I last year got to the final. This year I'm in the quarterfinal. I'm only a couple of games away from it. I'm not scared of anybody. I think I'm proving it. I think I'm playing against the greatest. I think I'm playing against whoever is in front of me. It doesn't really matter anymore. It's just Dimitri Vandenberg does his business. Give me a chance, and I want to finish it, you know? Yeah, what can I say? I'm working hard. I'm just working very hard, and especially on the finishing. I've let so many games run away from me. The Premier League, for instance, could have been a completely different story if I was as strong on my finishing like I am today. But then again, my scoring was so much better. So, guys, I'm on my way to be top of the top. I know I'm saying this and I don't want to sound arrogant. I always keep my feet grounded, but I've got my beautiful family behind me and I'm working so hard to make them even more proud. So bring it on. I've got an extra day to relax, to get my mind ready, and I'm definitely going to use that.
So thank you, everybody. Dimitri, what did you make of Roby's approach on the 180s where he was stepping back and ging up the crowd? We attempted to do that yourself. What I make out of it? I gotta say thank you ropes I've seen you doing it before in the European tours if it was the first time ever I would be like thinking mate you and me were playing each other what are you doing like why are you making look look yourself like a fool but you know what he doesn't he didn't it's the same like Gavin Price goes 180 and he turns around and he gives the large you know he, he just yells it out Roby went treble 20 treble 20 turned around to the crowd and he was like let's be entertaining I'm the same. I'm also an entertaining player like Roby is, but I do it before the game. And as soon as they say game on, I've got to do the job. So to play against Roby the way I've done, and especially my finishing, it's incredible. I'm so proud. And I'm in the quarterfinals. So yeah, it's a very tough game that I managed to win, and I'll take it. I'll just take it. Get in. As was mentioned before, you've only lost one game in the world match play. What is it about this event and this format? Is it just ready-made for your games? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I don't want to make myself look like a, a crazy guy. I don't want to give words or say words that I will not really... I don't know how you call it... Back up. I just put my feet back to the ground. I've done my job today. I know I can do better and I really need to do better. Not on finishing. But I feel I need to get my first start more better. And if I can get that right in the next round, I'm not scared. I really am not scared. They can try mind games on me. I like it. I've, I've played really good tournaments in Denmark and Holland. And I've got the crowd against me. I've got quality against me. And I still managed to work my tr myself through. So, feet on the ground, focus on myself. Do not underestimate anybody. Yeah, back to basics. Back to basics. Doesn't matter who I play. Thank you, guys. Demi, last year Peter was going into the final in incredible form. Yeah. This year, not so much. Do you think you're going into this next game, whether it's against Peter or, or Christoph, in better form? Better form? I don't know what to say. Um, am I feeling in better form? I don't know. What I do know is, give me a chance and I'll take it. Um, I've got such a confident feeling on my finishing, under pressure, even if I'm behind or way up front, it doesn't really matter. I know I can do the job, I know I can do the business. Um, let's just see tonight who goes through and then my mind's got to get himself ready. I had to do it two days ago I got myself through and I saw Roby winning against Clayton. That was a massive win from Roby against uh, an incredible player as Clayton is. And then I was like, oh, I've got to play Roby, one of my best pals. That's one of the difficult games to play. Now me and Pete, we're here for the business. So is Roby. Me and Pete, we go a long way back. So is me and Roby. So if I can do it me and Roby, why am I not even possible to do it me against Pete? But like I said, he's got a first pass for Tyski, and I don't think it's going to be as easy as he played against Rosma. So for me now, chill out tomorrow, a nice day, empty the minds, and then back to basics, focus on the job.